What's happening all you Minties? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And it's been a while since I've done one of these segments, but I wanted to take some time today to review Beware the Eye of Odin from Image Comics. So let's get started. And welcome back everybody. It's been a minute since I've done one of these reviews in a flash segments. I love making these. I love talking about these books, but it's just, I don't get the time to do it. If only we could add more hours to the day. Oh man, that would be wonderful. But let's go ahead and make this quick. Big shout out to Tim Audlin for sending me a nice handwritten letter. That, those, those are far few in between these days. Uh, but sending me a copy of this book. This is his first published book and he is the artist on this particular title. Uh, the story is by Doug Wagner. The colors are by Michelle Madsen. Uh, Ed Dukeshire is the letterer, and it is published by Image Comics. And this collects all four issues of this particular title. So, reviews in a flash, let's make this quick. I'll give you the premise, the, the plot, and what I'll do is, down there is where you're going to see the artwork. I don't know why I just made that sound effect, because I'll show you the artwork in a little bit. But if you're familiar with Norse mythology here lately, uh, it just has become a big part of our culture, mainly, of course, because of the movies, the Thor movies, and the video games like God of War recently. So it's really cool to see like kids use Norse mythology, like actual language and words and terms. Uh, so this is actually one of those type of books. It's, it's taking an action fantasy type of story, but putting it in a Norse background and this is where i will show you the artwork down there as i give you the story so we meet the character of hilgi he is our main character if you will and he within the first three pages has beheaded a frost giant so you get to know a little bit about the character and how he feels like he's cursed and he's mainly cursed by this artifact that he has called the eye of odin now whether it's the real eye of odin because of the myth well I guess you could try to find out yourself. Uh, now, his whole goal is because of this curse, he has been given a month to live. So he has to return it to Mimir before he dies. Now, we also get to meet this awesome character of Stiger. St Stiger? I don't know how to pronounce his name properly. I'm sure I'm butchering it. But he's an old warrior that's lost his arm. He's now a blacksmith. And I love the fact that he decides to go on this journey because he's questioned by one of the villagers about how he's not a warrior anymore. So he makes this badass weapon uh, to use in his arm. It's like an anvil with a chain. Ridiculous over the top, but it's my type of ridiculous and over the top. Now, the other character that wants to go along on their journey is Catelyn. And Catelyn is a Valkyrie. Or she could be a crazy towns girl that believes she's a Valkyrie. Whatever the case is, she refuses to stay back. As a matter of fact, on their journey, you're going to see a lot of Ilgi just tell them, hey, I don't need you. I'm going to do this on my own. I'm only going to end up cursing you. You're going to get hurt. And the two other characters are like, no, we're friends. We're on this journey together. So they enter uh, this place called Shiverwood, which is supposed to be riddled with trolls and big giant creatures. But instead, they're actually... Uh, ambushed by a bunch of hundra, what do they call, hundra folk, which are tiny little creatures that steal your items. Kind of reminds me of every RPG I've ever played. So the, they end up stealing the Eye of Odin and the three of them have to go on a side journey to go and retrieve it before heading over to Mimir. And that's really the basis of this story. Now let's talk about the artwork because I'm showing it down there, but Tim Odlin's artwork is just a beautiful mix of people like Arthur Adams and Nick Bradshaw, Stephen Scrose, with a nice little Tolkien flair to add to it. It has like this Tolkien feel, even though we are talking about Norse characters. But his layouts, his panel layouts, remind me of that Kirby-ish type of hero poses so it's a nice use of the panels layouts and sequential art to tell one wonderful story now well close-ups are really nice too his facial expressions are very expressive and that's the other thing that i enjoyed about it his artwork especially with a character like uh catlin but 
And that's all I will say about it. And so you can be surprised for yourself when you read it. And I'm glad that I ended up reading it at the end of this year because the book just came out. So if you're interested to check it out, I believe it is still available everywhere. It is a soft cover, beautiful artwork, beautiful design. And I want to see more of this team. So for me, this gets an 8 out of 10. My goodness, it's been a long time since I rated uh, a graphic novel. So 8 out of 10. That's it. Thank you again to Tim for sending me a copy of this book. This was an amazing start to an adventure that I want to see you and Doug and the rest of the team work on, whether it's these characters or whether it's a brand new story. But yeah, I'm in for the ride. Hopefully we'll get a hardcover one day, huh? You know how I am about hardcovers. That's it, everyone. Stay healthy and safe out there. Much love.